Hey, this is Daryl from Playcasters, and today I'm going to be playing Portal. Um, this isn't my first time playing it, so it's going to be sort of like a semi-blind playthrough. Um, and hopefully, it should be okay to play. So yeah, basically, most of the time I'm just going to let, if there's any sort of commentary, I'm going to let that play, rather than me speaking for it. Just to let you enjoy the game a bit more if you haven't already seen it, which is going to be a bit hard. Um, Play did release this for free a while ago, but I think now it's back to being paid for. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, Serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from your head for Bordone. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Right, so her, what you heard there was GLaDOS, who's sort of like the robotic voice of Aperture Science. And at the end, we'll play her. So this is the first sort of like test to make you understand how these bonds work. And there we go, Seven. simple as that. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Okay, so here we go, first actual proper test. Please place the weighted storage cube on the So we need to get the cube onto that one. Um, this uh, portal is going to just keep button. flipping around. Oh dear, come on. Get the cube. And then... Oh, great. So we're going to have to wait around for the next sort of loop. Hopefully I can just pick it out of here and then go into the next one. On, round and through. Onto the button. Perfect. Out we go. Please and then onto the last the one. Lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. One thing I've never understood is why these elevators are sort of padded. It's not as if you sort of go and go mental, or if the test subjects could sort of seriously hurt them, other than banging the head on the uh, handrail, perhaps. Um. Just so we're aware, I'm playing this on PC via Steam. And here's test 2, which, well. which is test 2 out of 19. And there's the ball gun down there, we need to get that. So we've got to just wait for Gladys to finish talking. Uh, this game was originally part of like the Orange Box, and <laughs> it it was one of the better games from the pack. Like the, the whole Orange Box was just amazing, really. Had half half life two, episode one of it was, and also Team Fortress two. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances... Test number three. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. I would love to have my daughter tested. <laughs> if I had one. So yeah, the protagonist is a woman called Shell. Um, you don't really find out why she's there. Um, this is test number four, which has falling things and well. things to the head. Here we go. Bang. So we need the cube, and uh, maybe not so much the radio. And it's come out there. Bang. Once test complete. Excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. 
Well, I haven't really needed any more help for the last few, so hopefully this one should be easy as well, GLaDOS. Okay, here we go, this is test number five. Test number five has things to the head. Okay, so we need to get the cube balls up there, so we're going to go bang, bang, and then we're going to throw that down, and then we want that to fall out, onto there, then we collect that, come on, and then we just pop it on there, and there we go. As part nice of a required radio. test protocol, our previous statement Originally, when I first played this, it took me forever to work out what was, was going on. But here we go. <laughs> you just have to shoot yourself out. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three. Here we go. Two. Master, 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 master. Right, so this is the first level where we get these sort of dangerous things. If I hit that, I will Both die, which I don't really want to. But there we go, we straight through into the thing. You. Apologies if it does look like I'm just sort of speedrunning this, but I can assure you it's not a speedrun. There's people who can crazily glitch the game, so they sort of fly through the seconds and like, sorry, fly through the levels in a matter of seconds. Hopefully I'm recording this in 16.9 so it doesn't give us black bars on YouTube, otherwise I'll have to stretch it out. Okay, Warning so we're going to have a shoe thing, goes there, and we want a bell bear, I think. And Is that right? That's right. Good. Now the to oh, oh, oh. almost. No, I hate it when you have to like wait forever for platforms that move so slowly. Oh look, there's me. Hi. I have a lovely jumpsuit. Dun 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 dun. Oh, test number seven, which has falling things, and I'm gonna imagine that's fully down things. Here we go. Bang. Into the elevator. Come on. You can dance all day. So yeah, this game received like numerous awards. It was based on another game, and then Valve picked up the team, who sort of had the like portal thing. Um, not entirely sure what that game was called. Please Probably find out for the next part. Right. So shooty dangerous Any things, shooty fooling things, and drowning and don't drink water. And look another war. I really want to drink it. If I'm honest. Good luck. Um, shoot there. That goes and go there, then on the shoot there. So it goes dun dun. Okay, that's fine. And then I wanna get onto that platform. Then I wanna shoot up there. And like, oh, oh, almost. Right, let's see if we can make this a little bit nicer for me. Is that sort of one? Yeah, there we go, I just need to sort of fall live fall down now. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there, just a little bit more. Right, three, two, one, go. Uh, that's the radio. There's a radio somewhere. God knows. Come on, come on. I would risk jumping, but I don't want to have to read it all. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yep, I'm. I'm sure it is, Glanos. Um, if you haven't already, check out my sort of Revenge of the Titans uh, playthrough of the sort of Earth missions. Okay, fully cubes, cubes in there. So, Make no attempt to solve need to get a cube. Right, how do we do this again? Oh yeah, so that's gonna like kill the cube. So I need to take the cube up here, and then I need to go in there somewhere. Can I shoot that off? Okay, here we go. Sorry, that one slightly confused me for a moment. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Cheers. Ah, dear. Sorry, 
to it, as I was saying, check out my Revenge of Tyrants playthrough. Um, it's a sort of tower defence in the game. And I've only done three parts so far. But hopefully this portal one shouldn't take too many more than that. Hello again. Now that I can do the larger things. Right. So there's one there. That's going to be pretty simple. Just fall through onto the steps. So, momentum. We love momentum. So we're going to fall through. Fly over. Speedy thing goes in. Speedy thing goes out. Okay, go away for that to stop moving. Come on, boom. And then straight down. And then I think I've got to do that again. Dun 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 dun. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Whoosh. I hate it when it like spins around, makes me feel a little bit sick. Right, so here we go, on to another test chamber. Uh, there is Poor 2, it contains the voice of Stephen Merchant, quite bizarrely. Um, and he plays Weedley, who's like a little uh, ball thing. You'll see some sort of personality cause at the end of Portal. The right, so here's a nice uh, glass room. Number 11. Uh, shooty ball, shooty ball down, drowning don't drink. And again, don't really want to drink that. And it looks like we're going to get out the uh, orange portal half of the gun. So we're going to need to shoot there. Right, there we go. Press the button. Open up there. Uh, we need a ball thing, I think. That's all we need. Oh, okay, press the button. Boom. And then we got to wait for it to shoot the portal this way. Okay, here, come on. Twisty, twisty, turn. There we go, that's what we needed. Um, right, so we now need the ball to go there. And that's going to catch it. Yeah, I think we've got to wait for it. Oh. Yeah, we've got to wait for it again. As far as I'm aware. We can wait for it to be coming towards us. No, nope. next one. Ah, oh, come on. Here we go, on the platform. Coming to get the uh, orange gun. And then we're going to have both the portals instead of it sort of giving us up, giving us it. Jump! Here we go! So like boss. Come on. I'm going to risk it. There we go. So this is when the puzzles start to get a little bit harder, but as I said, this isn't really a blind playtest as I've played the game before, but it was ages ago. Okay. Uh, most of the playcasters' playcasts are blind, as in it means we haven't played the game before, or we haven't played the levels before. Um, other than that, there is one that sort of, I can't remember what the other name is, but yeah, it's the opposite of blind where you've played through the level so you sort of know what's going on and you know how to finish the level, you know where the secrets are. Right, number 12. Uh, crate falls down, crate of head, portals. Right, so we've got momentum. Where, where are we going with this? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, up there, there we go. Silly me. Orange. And then I imagine we're just going to have to keep doing that. Just going to be fun. Boop. Alright, so we need that cube. How do we get the cube? Oh, there we go. Blue. Then we drop down, jump into there, fly across, get a said cube, and then fly through the balls once again.
Whee! Flying. 